In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a free VM on your Mac. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use a piece of software called VirtualBox, which is made by Oracle. Um, I will link this in the description down below. Once you have VirtualBox downloaded on your computer, make sure you install the program. If you're running macOS Catalina, you'll probably come into an error that the installation failed. You just need to open up System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, and make sure that you just allow the program to run from inside of that pane. And once VirtualBox is installed, make sure you're running it from within the applications folder. So we can just open up VirtualBox here. And now you will see what the VirtualBox window looks like. This is where you will run all of your VMs from once you have them set up, which we're gonna go through next. So now that we have VirtualBox installed, we need to actually install the operating system that we want to have running as a VM. In this instance, we're going to be running Windows 10. So I already have the ISO downloaded. You need to also have a operating system ready to go. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the installation. So we're gonna say we need a new VM. Now this basically just walks you through the entire process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but I'll walk you through anyway. So we need to choose the correct version of Windows here. Now this is Windows 10, 64-bit, Microsoft Windows. Um, and this is just going to be where it will actually install the VM on your machine. So you might want to take note of that so you can find the VM if you need to delete it later or call back to it at some point. I'm just going to say the name is Win 10 64-bit. Continue. Now this is gonna be the memory size, basically the VM's amount of RAM that you want to use. Now you'll notice that it can go all the way down to four megabytes um, on my computer. And this number will vary based on the amount of RAM that your current machine has. So if your machine has a lot of RAM, you're gonna see a big number here, and that's actually a good thing. Um, in that case, you could probably increase the RAM to a higher number, uh, whether that's four gigabytes, which is what this number is, um, if your machine has a low amount of RAM, you probably want to keep this number low. And for using VMs, depending on what you're using it for, you can usually keep the number pretty low. The next page is the hard disk. So basically, if you read through this, you can either not use a virtual hard disk at all, you can use a virtual hard disk, or you can use an existing virtual hard disk if you've already made a VM before. Um, I'm assuming you haven't done that since you're watching this video, so we're just going to say create a virtual hard disk. And there's a few options here. I just keep it basic virtual box disk image, but if you need to, you can change it depending on what your needs are. So this next page is telling you the storage can either dynamically change or it can have a fixed size. For this purpose, um, we're just gonna say dynamic. And then you can see what size it will be able to choose from. So the virtual hard disk, uh, the default is 50 gigabytes, but you can go all the way up to two terabytes if you need it and we can just go ahead and click create. So now you will see your VirtualBox VM. You've actually created a new VM inside of VirtualBox. The next thing we have to do is install the operating system. But before we do that, I just wanna make sure if anybody is running macOS Catalina to go into system preferences, go into security and privacy, and then make sure that under the appropriate tabs over here on the left, you have VirtualBox checked. If you do not, you're gonna run into a whole bunch of issues with security prompts popping up all over the case because Catalina is trying to protect you from installing something you shouldn't. So once you have done that step, we can actually go ahead and install the ISO. To begin the process of installing the ISO inside of VirtualBox, go ahead and click Start. A window should pop up and it should come up with this that says there is actually nothing installed so you need to install an ISO. What we're going to do is we're going to choose the folder and we're going to search for that ISO right now. And currently mine is on my desktop so we're going to click on that. Click on choose. And now it's saying VirtualBox should install this ISO. So go ahead and click start. And now VirtualBox is basically running on your machine. So now you're running a real VM and this is gonna just boot up directly into Windows and it's basically emulating um, a Windows computer, but it's a VM on your Mac. From this point forward, it looks just like a Windows machine would when you need to install a brand new version. So you can just click through the prompts and install Windows. Um, 
it pretty much takes care of itself. You can go through the entire process to get Windows set up. So I'm gonna skip through the installation process so I don't have to walk you through that if you're installing a different operating system. You basically just need to walk through the prompts and get the OS installed. One thing I wanna make sure you know is that when you close this window, it will save the state you're in by default. Now when you're ready to get back into your VM, all you have to do is choose it from the left-hand panel, click on Start. Now it should show up right where you were before after a few seconds. It's just gonna restore the virtual machine state. And as you can tell, we are back in business. Once you're ready to install a new operating system into VirtualBox, you just need to repeat the process that we went through and then you'll see all of your VMs show up here on the left-hand side. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful.